Many feel that Red Bull finds itself in somewhat of a no-man's land as their current engine partner in Honda have decided to exit the sport after 2021. That leaves Red Bull needing to buy engines from one of three remaining engine manufacturers, build an engine of their own, partner with a new engine manufacturer, or leave F1 for good. Team advisor Helmut Marco has now looked at these options while speaking to Automotor und Sport. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, can Red Bull lure a new engine manufacturer to F1? Marco began by outlining their current situation and how they are approaching it. It is true that we would definitely get an engine, but we don't want to accept just any engine. If you go to Renault, you get an engine that they build according to their needs. It is tailor-made for their chassis, which is a compromise for us. Marco also looked at the issues associated with building their own engine. We would need at least 50 new people for the hybrid part alone. The problem would start in 2022. We would have to then convert the engine to 20% biofuel immediately. And we know how complex this whole technology is. These are factors that we have to take into account. He then explained how F1 isn't conducive to a new manufacturer joining in time for the 2022 season. Nobody wants to put in such an effort for a period of only four years until the next regulations. And everyone knows by now that you can't just get on board and be competitive right away. The hybrid technology is far too complicated and expensive for that. He signed off by revealing that leaving F1 isn't off the table either. Max has a competitive engine clause in the contract, but that's also our premise. Without an engine with which we can win the championship, the project is not interesting for us. If we cannot find a competitive solution, leaving F1 is an option. Fast feed Alfa Romeo's Kimi Raikkonen has surmised that in most sports, every record is broken at some point, and that records do not make any difference to him. He also added that defending his record of being the most capped F1 driver won't be the reason for him to stay. Nürburgring's general manager Mikro Markfort feels that F2 driver Mick Schumacher, with his father's name and successes and the driving skills he has shown in recent years, enables them to look to the future in a more positive way. He also added that the Dutch fans are also very interested in them because of Max Verstappen. Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel has said that at Aston Martin there is the attitude and determination to make something of it together. That sounded like a great project that he wanted to be a part of. He also feels that Aston Martin will be very different from Ferrari and so a lot of things will happen for the first time and he hopes he can do his bit with his performance in the car. Honda F1 boss Toyoharu Tanabe has stated that everyone involved in Honda's F1 project is very sad that their time in the sport is coming to an end. Max Verstappen's father, Jos Verstappen, has stated that they will wait and see what happens as they have little use for all the words meant for the public and that it is time for Red Bull to put down a car with which you can become a champion. Max's teammate Alex Albon feels that while the Nürburgring will be very fast this year, the weather will also be bad, with some really cold, wet weather. Renault's Esteban Ocon added to that by saying that given the time of year, it could be quite an unpredictable weekend, and that they could be in for a crazy race. Ferrari junior Callum Eilat will be driving the Haas car during the FP1 this weekend, and team principal Gunther Steiner has urged him to be a little bit more careful when he goes out there, as at the moment, rain is predicted. He added that they don't look too much at the time as they're looking for his consistency and the feedback he can bring to the team. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has explained the situation is clear and they have time which they are grateful to Honda for. And he also feels they now have to find a competitive power unit solution for 2022 and beyond. Who do you think will win this season's F2 championship? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.